Hello, it's Marco Matoshwich from Markham3D.com and NazisandDragons.com. In this section, we're just going to be talking about how to enter a collision box and just have kind of like a light flicker. So I've got a very basic room set up here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first throw in a light. Let's go a spotlight. W, let's bring that up to the top here. The light isn't that strong, so let's bump up that intensity to 250. And I'm also now going to throw in a trigger box, box severe. And this is as soon as we enter this area, the light will start flashing. So this is what we've got set up. I'm going to shift left click and have the trigger box and the light selected. From here, I'm going to click blueprints at the top, convert selected components to blueprint class, save it in the location I want, uh, flashing light lights create blueprint so we've got light collision box let's go to event graph i want to select collision comp on component begin overlap what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a timeline okay so let's double click on the timeline to open it up and go into the add float track so this is a little t bit tedious bit, but as soon as you can you know, get it done, it's done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cr create like an event graph that goes up and down, um, keeping the bits in between very short. And I'll, just, I'll explain what I mean here. So I'm gonna right click added key keyframe. Uh, the value is 250 because that's the intensity of the light and our time is there. So right click, new time, control V, and I am just going to add that to point four, and we will make this zero. I'm going to add in a new keyframe here, and that'll be zero. However, let's copy that time again. Let's add in a new keyframe, and let's just add uh, that, just to give it a little bit extra, 250. Um, Let's go, let's go very short burst in light, add keyframe, put this back up to 250. So if we were to zoom all the way out, which I can't really, well probably there is a way, what we'll see is a kind of, um, kind of like a square line, which is what we want goodness so I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna let it go up and down uh, for a few frames and then you'll rejoin me so I've done now a few to kind of catch up to where I was and on the last frame I'm going to copy this time and I'm gonna set one more I uh, don't no, not I'm gonna come up to here to the length of the clip and just expand that out a little bit more so I've got about well, only 0.25 of a second. So hopefully now it should flicker very fast. Let's come back into our event graph. I'm going to get our light component. And what I want to ch change is the intensity of the light. So if I come back over here into the viewport and we select our light, the intensity value is what we're going to change. So I am just going to search intent city set intensity and so we've got a green and a green and we know that we've been setting values here and this is after a value it's after a float and we were setting a float so we connect these connect these compile play and it's very brief because i made it very brief and it only plays once which is something i want however if i wanted to play from start every time it's um every time i enter that box it'll play so that looks pretty cool so i mean obviously you can go more into detail but you get a flicker flickering light very nice very simple so if you like this tutorial make sure you hit subscribe and i'm releasing content every two to three days